Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It depends on when you come across this video. Amen. Once again, your sister is here. My name is Dickiness Rose Maduka, and we are the Praying Mothers. Brethren, the program you are watching right now is called The Praying Mothers Movement with God. Hallelujah. Brethren, today we have a very important topic, a very important talk that we are going to discuss together and then uh, God will give us the grace to get to the end in Jesus' precious name. Brethren, join me as we talk, just thank and worship this God. He is faithful, he is wonderful, he is lovely. This God, there is no one like him. I just want us to thank him. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We thank you, O oh God, for who you are. We just want to say thank you, O oh God, for a beautiful and a wonderful day. A day that you have made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Father, this is another moment with you, O oh Lord. And we ask, O oh God, that your presence will come and dwell in our midst. In the precious name of Jesus. And all glory will be ascribed unto you, O oh God. In Jesus' wonderful name we have giving thanks. Amen and amen. Brethren, once again, I want to thank you for joining me. Those that will join me later, God bless you. And those that are watching me right now, you are welcome. God bless you. I want us to talk about a topic. There was information or rather there was a, a discussion I had with someone and it really, it, it, you know, it really touched my heart especially anything that concerns children. Today, the topic we are going to be talking about is parents listening to your children. Is the topic. Parents listening to your children. Nowadays, I found out that the main thing that is really happening to our children, to parents, is, is, is something else. I know that even when we were growing up as uh, now we are adults, mothers and fathers, we grew up, but we know what we went through, through uh, uh, in the hands of our parents because they never listened to us. Most uh, women or men today who have become men and women, they are not men and women, they are not mothers, but all, all of us, we have story to tell. We have story to tell because then back home, our parents, they don't give ear to us to talk. Our parents don't listen to us. Our parents don't want to hear anything. If you want to talk about uncle, they will hit you. You want to talk about that auntie, they will hit you. If you want to talk about a friend, ah, that is the worst. Brethren, glory be to God that we are not going backwards. We are going, we are moving forward. Why do I say so? Because most of our eyes now are opened. But back then, it's like we were living in dark. Deep, dark, in short, deep dark. Because uncle will do something to you that you don't like. You cannot go to your parents and report to him or her. Or I mean him. Until with those things that you don't like, you cannot go to your parents to report because they will not listen to you. Now, why I am really out today? Because this very information I got or this very, um, I mean, discussion I had with someone, it really, it, it touched my heart about children. Parents, please let us give here to our children sometimes. Not always. That doesn't mean you will not train your child. It's the Bible that says we should train our children in the way that they will grow up. All this of I too much trust a friend. I too much trust uncle. I too much trust auntie. I too much trust them. Then we, we are bringing our children down. There is nothing our children will tell us that we will believe. There is nothing our children will tell us that we will take from them. These have hurt a lot of children. Because children, they are, they are scared when you, when you threaten them. Or oh, if you say this thing, I will kill you. 
Many children are living. They are living this kind of life and their life is, is sorrowful, miserable. But parents, they don't want to know. They don't want to know. Suddenly a child's character change. Instead of you to come down and ask that child what is going on, or rather go in God in prayer and say, Father, what is happening to my child? A child now, children now even trust outsider than their parents. What is happening, parents? Papa, mama, what is happening? Let us wake up. If your children now not have a best friend, or maybe your own best friend that become or became their own best friend, that when they tell everything to you are missing, you are missing it as a mother, as a parent, as a father. That your 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 son, your daughter cannot face you to face to face and say, Mommy, I want to tell you something. You have to go outside and go, Auntie, you know, can I talk to you? Auntie, I have something to discuss with you. Why the mother is there, why the father is there? What is happening? Because you never give here to your children. Because you never listen to them. Because you never even, uh, how will I put it? Because you don't trust them. When they tell you something, this uncle did something to me, you will not believe because you are shown, then we know if I tell my, my, my mom now, oh, we will go and fight. He will, because maybe the person have already threatened them. They are afraid. Parents, let us continue to use our wisdom. Let us use the wisdom on our children. Because today, I really do not want to just be talking of hell. I want to go to the Bible. What is Bible saying concerning children? Hallelujah. In the first one is Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. It said, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Are you a mother that works 24-7? You don't know what is happening in your home for showing money. Oh, when my child asks, you want to buy shoe, you want to buy clothes, I can have money to buy. Do you think that is what children really want? No. Do we really believe? Sometimes, ask yourself this question. What is it that my children really want? What is it that they really need? Is it that buying them shoes and buying all those things, that is exactly what they want? But let me prove you wrong. That is not what they want. That is not the, their desire. Their desire is to see their parents love them. It's to see their parents trust them that anything they say, they don't just go out and make and make empty, empty mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. You calm down. Give them some wisdom. Give them some advice. You will see that child. They will not be afraid to tell you whatever thing they have seen or whatever thing that has happened to them. But nowadays, our parents, we don't listen to our children. What is happening? What is going on? I really want to know. What is going on? That our children doesn't trust us anymore. Now, as I said earlier, I said there was an information or rather I had a discussion with someone that a child, this one happened in the church. Parents, you see, I am telling you, I always say it. Sometimes I ask myself, where is the safe place we are talking about? Where is this safe? Is it church? Or is it out there? Oh, let me answer you. The only safe place that we have now in this same time is you. You and I. It's you. There is no safe place. Oh, I so much trust that for the, for the school teacher. I so much trust that brother. 
I so much trust my pastor. I so much trust. You don't know what is happening. Most parents now, when they, your past, your child come to you and said, mommy, look at what the pastor did to me. Will you believe? But I must tell you, the Bible says, the enemy, Satan, is a lion rolling around to see who he will destroy. He can use anyone. Do not trust anyone. The safe place is you. You standing, that is just your safe place. So there is no other place. This one happened in the church. A Sunday school teacher abusing a child inside the toilet. My people, I want you people to open your eyes. I so much trust. I so much trust. Yes, that, that is why, like a, a white church, they don't do that. Hey, my sister, you never hear. You never see. All I want to say is that take care of your children. Please be the best friend of your children. When they are about to tell you things, give them here. That doesn't mean you are going to use what they say to do anything. Use your wisdom and use number six. Let the child know that, oh, what you say, what she, him or, she or him is saying, you take it. But don't use it as an action. Pray. If it is something that you know that it is hard to ask, go in God in prayer. Put that child in prayer because that child might be going through one thing or another you don't know. Be the defense of your children. That when anything happens, you say, well, yeah, if I know when I tell my, my parents, I know they will stand for me. A child is afraid. Repeatedly. That the same thing he doesn't, or she, him or she doesn't want. Repeatedly. Because no one stands for him or her. No one is there to say what is happening to you. I have seen a father abusing, sexual abuse on her daughter, on his daughter, sorry. What are we talking about? Sexual abuse. Now you are a woman. You say you are working 24-7 for the children. You are destroying the life of those children. Sister, mama, work as, as you can work so that you can take care of your children. Do you think that working 12 hours in seven days, that is what your children need? No, my sister, no. They are making best friends out there. What they are supposed to be telling you, your best friend is Nadia Monta. On, oh, auntie, auntie, can I just talk with you? Oh, auntie, okay, I'll call you tomorrow. And you are there watching. You are laughing. You don't know. They will break you, carry your bag. You are going to walk, to walk, walk 12 hours. I know that is taking your place automatically, creeping. Where a, a, a child no longer trusts their parents at home, is outside. That home, you think you are doing your best? Then you wait this happen. I was just doing my best. I was just trying all I could. I was just doing all this thing for them. Who taught you? Do you think that is what they want? No, mothers, that is not what your child needs. That is not what they want. Try to be there for them. Children always want their parents to be there for them. When a child can be able to trust you and say, I trust my mom. I know my mom will do all his best. I know he will, I know he will stand for me. Can they say that to you? But if they cannot say that to you, you are a failure. I must say this. This man, it, it may offend you, my women, but I am saying the truth. The Bible says, train up a child the way he should go. He said, when he grow old, he will not depart away from it. Hallelujah. It will not depart away from it. Now, Isaiah 54, verse 13 says, he said, all your children shall be taught by the Lord. How often do you lead, lead your children to Christ? 
so that God will taught them what they are supposed to know. Work is good. Going to parties is good. I can see some women, even their child of three years. Oh, I will pay for Maida. A child of five years, I will pay for Maida. Maida has husbands. Maida have a, 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 big, a big son at home. A Maida have an uncle at home. A Maida has something to do. What a shame. Parents, let us try to take care of our children. There are things our children are going through. Their character changed. You don't know what that boy, that girl went through in the hand of those demonic people. How often do you ask your child, are you okay? Is anybody offend you? Did anybody did something that you don't want to you? How often do you ask them? No, we don't ask. We don't want to care. They are okay. They can take care of themselves. Let your child trust you. Give them that chance to know you more better. Give them that right to say, yes, I know my parents is there for me. Hey, mommy, I so much trust my husband. A baby girl of four years. We try to come and talk to you and say, mommy, I, I something I daddy, daddy was doing, I don't know. Or you can ah, shut up your mouth. What do you know? You will not find out. Sexual abuse in the home. Sexual abuse. Satan is just walking up down to see the home he will destroy. I pray for somebody watching me right now. Do not allow that to happen in your home. That Satan will take the place of your husband. That Satan will take the place of your uncle or your brother. Any, your son, anyone living in your home. I pray that God will take away that, 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 that terrible heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My mothers, women, things are going on. Let us take care. Don't so much trust this person. I trust her. No, you can't do. You have a big boy at home and you have a child of four years, five years. Oh, take care. Clean, clean her when she will clean, clean the pampas. Hey, girl. Let me tell you, men have to bring up and down. That is their brain. The day the one, this one walk, the down one doesn't walk. The day the down one walk, the up one, not the walk. Yes. He said a word is enough for the wise. You understand this? What are we talking about? Eh? What are we talking about? Brethren, things are going on. Things are happening. When I heard about this word, I said, God, a child of, I think they said that child that time, it was about seven to eight years. A Sunday school teacher, a teacher that, that the teacher, children teacher in the church was abusing that boy, follow him to the toilet. Mother, let us take care of our children. I am not saying follow them anywhere they go, but at least, Try to ask them questions. Try to come closer to them. Why is the son, why is your son, why is this always hungry? Why is your son, why is this sad? Ask a question. It's not about, the question is not about when he say, I, I need someone to buy me some game. I need someone to, that, 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 those ones are different. But it, there must be something they are going through that you don't know. Someone is threatening them. How will you feel? When your child now tells you, oh, someone was threatening me, look at what this person did to me, and he's threatening me that he will kill him. That was so exactly the story I'm telling you right now. It happened to this boy. And this boy now is grown to a teenager. That's the same chairman is not inside him, telling him to kill himself, that he's not worth to live. What are we talking about? That the same heart now is not telling me to oh go and kill yourself. You do it's, it's not better, just die. When things are going, on, we need to find out what is it that our children are going through. This boy now cannot even trust the mom. He has to go to the mom friend to tell this is what he has been going through. That he knew that his mother is not going to listen to him. You see. 
Are you that kind of mother? Are you that kind of woman that your children don't trust you anymore? We must not be that way. We must not live our life that way. You must not let your children know that you don't, that, that you just, you are not that kind of person. That that kind of person that doesn't care. Parents, please, give ear sometimes. Listen to your children. Listen to your children and watch them. What are they doing? What is happening to them? Even in school, these things happen. Oh, I want to take my daughter to my uncle uh, because I have a party that I am going. Uncle? Hey, hey. Uncle, I told you earlier, two brain where they get to. Be careful. You mothers watching me right now. Take care of your children. Take care of your children. Wash out. Who is threatening them? Who is abusing them with words? Not only sexual abuse now. Words. We remember when we were growing up. Until we cost them. Hey, you will nothing will come out from you. Papa, we say, ah, oh, this one better thing. No, they, they don't see better thing. Yes. But glory be to God, now we know Christ. We grew up. Many people now, they don't call their parents because of all these things. But we must not, we, that is why you must take care of your children. Don't allow your children to go through what you went through in the hands of your, 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 your parents. Children are innocent. They know nothing. Nothing, absolutely. They are innocent. So we, that is why we must guide them. That is why we must watch over them. Then, hallelujah, I think. Amen. Please, I think. Let them not suffer those things that we went through. In Psalm 127, is a, is a popular verse that we, we, we always read and you know, to, we use it as a prayer for our children. It says, children are a gift. Psalm 127, verse 3. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. Hallelujah. Children, and another Bible version we say, children are heritage. He said the fruit of the womb is a reward. Children are gifts. Children are gifts. Par parents, mothers, father, let us not allow Satan to rule our home. No. Don't allow it. Be the best friend of your children. Be the best friend. Do whatever thing it takes so that that child will trust you. Do whatever thing it takes so that your child will trust you and love you. That ah, when you are not around, you say, ah, I miss my dad, I miss my mom. Amen. Yes. Yes. Take care of them. You have a four years old child. You are working 12 hours in 12, seven days. You say, my husband will take care of them. It's not all men that are evil. But be careful. As I said before, May has to bring one up and one down. The one, the day, the one down walk, the one in the hair on top, he not function. He not function as some people talk. Oh. He not function at all. So that is why you must use number six. Let your child, whenever they want to say anything, allow them to say it and use your wisdom to be able to handle the matter. I have had a lot of stories. A woman was saying the other day, a whole husband abused a four, four, four years old child. He was abusing that child whenever he wanted to go and uh, back the, 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 the gate. Anytime we take the ghetto, the, the little ghetto, the bathroom, he will be abusing the child until the motherhood catch the man and dead. What are we saying? So imagine, oh, my uncle bathed them, my uncle dressed them, my uncle, hey, mommy, mommy, go and think very well. Go and sit down and think very well before you know 
nowadays a child doesn't grow up to be a virgin they are, because they already destroyed the life of that child before when he was growing up a child now in africa before you can see a child of of 15, 10 years or 11 years is still a virgin i don't know maybe he has a, a responsible parent these are the things that i was going on in africa they don't allow you to talk you cannot talk about uncle you cannot tell uh, mommy uh, uncle was trying to no they will slap the child what are you trying what do you know because they think that is there they're ignorantly they don't have they don't no wisdom a child is trying because that is the way they fit they want to say it out parents please listen to your child listen to your children sometimes listen to them and use your own wisdom to close the case that is it. Use your wisdom. Hallelujah. Use your wisdom. Now I will read this before I round up. Matthew chapter 19 verse 14 says, Jesus said, let the children come to me. Children, Jesus loved children so well. Let the children come to me and do not hinder, hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as this. Anyone that will destroy your children, God will destroy that person in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that will destroy our children, that will not want to see the future of our, of our children, anyone that Satan will use, whether in our family, whether in, as a friend, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let that person be destroyed in the mighty name of And the person will be far away from our children. So shall it be, so shall it remain in the precious name of Jesus. Many children now, many children that before this, all these uh, evil men, they are tense, sexual abuse them. Some of them don't have children because they already destroy things inside their body. You see what we are talking about. Parents, please, mother, especially mother. I always face mother. Mother, please, watch out. Watch out. Please, don't just leave your child. Oh, I trust this person. Who do you trust? We only trust God. God is our best trust. We, you have to trust God, don't trust anybody. Wherever uh, your, your, your daughter will carry phone. Hello, auntie. Hello, auntie. How are you? Go, auntie. Can I speak with you, auntie? Oh, I just really need to speak with you. And you are there. Your daughter is calling your friends. Your daughter is calling somebody who is near you, even your neighbor. I want to discuss something with you. But where are you? I say, mother, where are you? Where do you stand? Yeah, you know, you say, hey, both of you are best friends, though. Eh? Both of you, eh? what is going on? You don't know what is going on. Someone is taking your position, creeping, taking your position. And you are happy. You are happy. Someone is taking your position in the life of your children. You are happy. Brethren, I know some of us in this message, you will, you will not be happy to hear it, but it's the truth. I want to say it again. Take care of your children. Listen to them when they, when they are talking. Listen to them. Let them speak. Let them speak their mind. Listen to them. Sometimes we get wisdom from our children. Sometimes we, yes, we get, we get wisdom from them. Sometimes we, 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 we learn from them because what they know, sometimes we, we, we don't know it. So listen to your children when they talk. Hallelujah. God bless you today. I hope this message will bless someone and give wisdom and also make a way for as many who has been looking unto God for one thing and all that. You are blessed in Jesus' name. You will not lose your reward in Jesus' precious name. Brethren, once again, continue to share our video and you will not lose your reward. God bless you for listening today. And I want to leave you for now. Don't forget, next Friday is our Praying Mother's um, Empowerment Night. It's going to be wonderful. Don't miss it. Join us. We are always live on Facebook. God bless you. As you join us, you will never remain the same again. 